Hi, everyone. Welcome to our Self Love Sunday series, uh, where we have four amazing women founders who are our hosts and are guiding you through this experience. We hope that you enjoy it. We hope you reconnect and realign with yourself. We hope that it fills your Sunday with so much love, especially self love. Um, so if you would like um, any other info from uh, these women, please don't hesitate to reach out to them individually or to us as an organization. We love you. Enjoy. All of the women who are hosting today are also founders of their own companies and own holistic wellness companies, um, or I guess a lot of you have an entrepreneurial company. But um, um, with that said, I'll also have like their um, Instagrams, I'll put them in the chat. And um, with a PDF that I attached to your guys' email, you can also find um, all of their contact info on theirs. So uh, Whitney is our sound bath um, crystal goddess woman who lives in Hawaii. So you can uh, shop Ethereal Earth and the amazing crystals, or, you know, just use Whitney as a resource if you need. And um, so then Marissa has a luminous mind and you can talk about that. Yes, can you hear me properly? Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay, great. So uh, yes, my name is Marissa. I have a wellness company. I started Luminous Minds. Um, we support Black and Brown folks with holistic resources and mental health resources. So I've been facilitating workshops, sister circles, um, and things like this for the past few years. Awesome. So then we have Tracy, who will be hosting yoga for us. So she has a yoga um, company. So you can explain that, Tracy. Yeah, so I am Tracy. I am the founder of Energy Wellness. We focus on yoga, meditation, and other modalities of holistic wellness for people in the Las Vegas community and the Los Angeles community. Um, I teach in person mostly and live. So there's not a lot of resources for me online, but I am moving into that space. So you can find videos, updates on my Instagram. Yeah, and um, we also, we all have like very, um, we're in different locations. So while uh, Whitney is in Hawaii, Marissa's in Los Angeles, I'm in Oakland right now, Tracy's in Las Vegas, and then we have Alana. Uh, do you wanna talk about your company? Hello, I'm Alana and I'm the owner of Artwork Creative, where I am a business coach and Instagram marketing strategist for creative women in business. So I have a sick, my signature program, the Women's Academy of Instagram Mastery is like my baby. And I basically coach women to achieve their goals with their business using Instagram and empowering them through their voice. So yeah, that's me. And so that is why all together, they make an amazing collective of women for Self Love Sunday. Um, all right, so first we're going to hop into an opening meditation um, that Marissa is going to lead. And then we are going to go to yoga with Tracy. And then we'll hop to a journal prompt and a card reading of the day by Alana. And that will kind of enter us into our sound bath. And we will close with a closing meditation and some final words. So um, yeah, let's get into Self Love Sunday. Yeah. Yes, let's get into Self Love Sunday. Um, like I said, my name is Marissa. I'm super happy to be here to guide this meditation for everyone. Um, but before we get started, um, I'm just curious. I have like a question for everyone. You can put it in the chat. Um, but on a one to 10 scale, how are you feeling today? With 10 being you're feeling super empowered, you're feeling clear about your purpose, who you are in the future, and a one being you just don't know. It's just one of those days. Um, you're feeling a little shitty. Um, so from a one to 10 scale, how are you feeling today? Um, and if you could put that in the chat, um, just so I can get a gauge of how everyone is. I'm at a seven. I can't put it in the chat. Okay. Okay. Thank chat. you, Tracy. Seven. We have nine, eight, 9.5 Carlton. Okay. Awesome. So I love how everyone's number and 
I just first I want to say let's hold space for wherever you are so whether you put where you are in the chat or not um, I want to hold space for the fours the threes the ones but it seems like a lot of people are feeling pretty empowered or at least a bit optimistic um, so I ask that to say um, I'm an energy worker I lead meditation but I I love working with energy and I think it's important to state where we are um, so as we move through this meditation um, I want you to be with where you are and see if you can shift that into possibly a 10, possibly a number, a little bit more in your resilience and your power. So before we begin, we're going to do a cleansing breath. So let's take a deep inhale into the nose and a big exhale out through the mouth. A second time, deeply inhale in. Exhale out through the mouth. Third time, take a deep inhale into the nose. And a big exhale out through the mouth. And when you're ready, I want you to gently close your eyes or maybe leave them at a low gaze. Try to find a comfortable seat if you're not already there yet. And for these few, first few moments of our meditation, I just want you to focus in on your breath. Notice your inhale. Notice your exhale, relaxing down your shoulders. And I want you to go back to what that number was. Your, how are you feeling this morning, or this evening, wherever you are? And as you're pondering on that number, I just want you to notice any thoughts that come up. And using your breath, I just want you to exhale anything that no longer serves you. Even when we're at maybe a seven or eight or even a 9.5, there may be something in your energy that you've picked up this morning that you just wanna let go of. So using those exhales, I want you to Use your breath to release, again, anything that is no longer serving you, any people, any patterns, any behaviors. Allow this meditation, allow this presence that we're building to be a release. And if you're noticing any tension, maybe in your shoulders, maybe in your hips, or maybe your breath feels slightly resistant this morning, this evening, this afternoon, I just want you to focus on releasing and relaxing into those spaces. Again, we're breathing into the nose and we're exhaling out either through our mouth or through our nose, whatever is gonna bring you to a deeper sense of relaxation. You know, one of my teachers loves to bring up this analogy of an energy cord at the bottom of our seat. So I just want you to imagine a new energy cord. This is your source. I want you to visualize this energy cord down rooted into the earth. And if this energy cord maybe is connected to your ancestors, if that resonates with you, allow this energy cord to resonate with maybe any belief system that brings you back into your power. I want you to breathe into your nose 
and exhale out of your mouth as you feel this energy cord resourcing both your energy body and your physical body. And I want you to allow this energy cord to just connect to you throughout every mode. Every modality that we practice throughout this session allow you to focus on this energy and allow your breath to be a release of, again, anything that no longer serves you. And now I want you to take a deeper inhale into the nose and a big exhale out through the mouth. And when you're ready, you can gently wiggle your toes, wiggle your thumbs, and gently open your eyes to come back to this space. And just as a reminder, the breath is our source this morning. So as you're moving through the yoga, as you're moving through the journal prompts, as you're moving through the beautiful sound bath that's gonna close, I want you to focus on your breath this morning because this is where we create presence and this is where we can begin to come to a sense of self-love for ourselves. So I'm gonna pass it on to Tracy to guide our yoga. So as we're here in this comfortable seated position, savoring the last few moments of that beautiful meditation, I wanna invite you to take a brief moment to yourself and set an intention for today's practice. Drawing to mind a thought to guide you forward, maybe rooted in how you wanna feel when you leave your mat today. And as we go through each one of these poses, decide to give your best effort, guiding your energy, guiding the work that we do on our mats to take us closer to manifesting that intention. Breathing into that thought and then exhaling out of the mouth, making room for your practice. When you're ready, gently flutter the eyes open and let's go ahead and get started. So we're going to start with a brief warm up and then we'll get into the mat work. So in your comfortable seated position, give yourself a moment, take a big inhale, reaching the hands up high, lifting the fingertips, lifting the gaze towards the ceiling, towards the sky. And as you exhale, let the palms fall wide down by your side, rolling the shoulders down the back, lengthening out of the crown of your head on your next exhale. Draw the right ear towards the right shoulder. And just notice the stretch in the left side of the neck. Notice any sensations cycling or surging throughout the body. Give yourself permission to observe without judgment, without expectation. Simply noticing what is, what is the experience that you're having in this moment? When you're ready, as you exhale, sweep your chin across your chest, bringing the left ear to the left shoulder, and then breathing in to the stretch on the right. Take a moment and just observe your body, giving name to the sensations, maybe describing them in your mind, keeping your mind active on what's happening in your body in this moment. As you inhale, draw your head up, to center and as you exhale, draw your chin to your chest, creating length in the back of the neck, feeling that stretch down the spine. We're gonna take two rounds of breath here. Maybe you decide to stretch with your eyes closed or maybe if your gaze is open, you can see whatever is in your lap, whatever's in front of you. As always, studying ourselves, studying our practice with the curiosity of a child, allow yourself to explore. Breathing into the shoulders, exhaling it out. And on your next inhale, roll the head up to center, sweeping the hands back up high. 
Exhale, bringing palms out in front of you. We're gonna come into tabletop pose. I'm gonna turn to my side just so that you can see my alignment, but your hands will be at the top of your mat. Wrist stacked right underneath shoulders, knees stacked right underneath the hips. Let's take three rounds of cat cow. So as you inhale, draw the belly down, lifting the heart, stretching through the front side body, sending your gaze either up or straight forward as you exhale, ground down through the fingertips, pushing through the palms, lifting the spine, drawing the belly towards the back. Two more rounds of breath at your own pace, drawing the belly down as you inhale, being intentional with your movement. So really connecting the breath to the body, pulling yourself out of that autopilot mode and really getting your breath and your body to collaborate. I'll meet you at tabletop pose when you're ready. Sending your gaze straight forward, step the right foot out behind you, pressing the ball of your foot, the mounds of your toes into either the earth or the mat behind you. And then once you've found a comfortable stretch, just rock forwards and back, pressing your weight of the body into the heel and then onto the mounds of the toes. Feel that stretch through the calf. Maybe it comes all the way up towards the knee, pressing into the knuckles of your toes. And when you find yourself leaning forward or guiding back forward, lift the right leg off the mat. And then bend the knee, guiding the sole of your foot up towards the ceiling. Feel that balance and that activity in the core. Feel yourself pressing away from the mat, keeping the arms strong. As you exhale, guide the right knee down to meet the left, and let's do the other side. Kicking the left foot out behind, pressing the ball of your foot into the mat, and then working through the heel and the toes, finding a stretch in the calf as well as a stretch in the knuckles of your toes. Taking a moment and just simply enjoying how releasing tension in the body, how good that feels. And again, once you've guided yourself forward, lift the left leg off the mat, lift the left toes off the mat, and then bend the knee, guiding the sole of your foot towards the ceiling. Staying grounded through your palms as you exhale, draw both knees back together. Curling the toes under, pressing them into your mat. Let's get ready for our first down dog of the day. Rolling over the balls of your feet, guiding your seat to the sky. Take a moment and just pedal your dog out. Keeping the knees soft bringing the belly to the thighs if your hamstrings are tight, pressing the heels of your hands into the mat. And as you find yourself in down dog, each time we take a down dog today, I want you to whisper kindness to yourself. If you're at home and you feel comfortable, you can do it out loud. If you prefer to do it in your mind, feel free. Whatever feels good to you. And on your next inhale, take a look at your hands. Gently walk your feet to the top of your mat. Let's hang out in forward fold. With a nice generous bend in the knees, let the belly roll over the thighs. Feel that length in the spine. Maybe you grab your elbows and sway from side to side. Maybe you just reach towards your toes or your ankles. Yogi's choice. Listen to your body. Whew, I had a cookie before we started. And now I feel full. <laughs> On your inhale, come up halfway, lifting your back nice and strong like an ironing board. As you exhale, melt forward, reaching towards the toes. On your next in breath, sweep the hands up high, reaching up, lifting up, chest lifted, arms lifted. As you exhale, bring palms to heart center. And let's take a moment of gratitude, simply just drawing to mind something you are immensely thankful for could be a person, a place, an experience, whatever that is for you, bring it to the forefront of your mind. And just as we did at the beginning of today's session, breathe life into that thought. Let the energy, the feelings of that gratitude resonate throughout your muscles, throughout the body. And with your next big inhale, sweep the hands up high. Let's start with Surya Namaskar A. Sweeping the hands up, nice big breath as you exhale, forward fold, staying connected to your breathing. Inhale, come up halfway, back nice and strong like an ironing board. Exhale, soften the knees, bring the palms to the mat, step into your high plank. Shift your weight forward, gently guide yourself down onto your belly. Uncurl the toes and let's come in to upward facing dog, lifting out of the heart, stretching the front side body forward. 
Curl your toes under, send your seat to the sky. We're back in that down dog, back in that space of kindness, that space of love. It is said that love is expansive. The more you give, the more you have to give. So speaking kindness to yourself not only fills yourself up, but it provides a space for you to have love for others, for those around you. So take a moment, be kind to yourself. And when you're ready, lengthen through your right toes, reaching that right leg out behind you. Maybe circle the ankle, maybe flex or point the toes. And then when you're ready, guide your right knee into the belly, shift your weight forward and step the right foot as closely between your palms as you can, or maybe just under your line of sight, yogi's choice. We're gonna come into warrior two. So as you inhale, windmill the arms open as you spin the left foot out behind you, aligning to the back of your mat. And widen your stance if you feel like you need to, stacking the right knee over the right ankle. Right fingertips reached out in front of you, left fingertips reached behind. We're gonna take three rounds of breath, finding a flow. So as you inhale, reach your arms up, lengthening through the legs. As you exhale, guide yourself back down into warrior two. Two more times, again, staying connected to your breath, reminding your body to follow the breath, reminding the breath to guide the body. Final exhale, I'll meet you in warrior two. And once you found it, take a look at the fingertips on your right hand, flip the right palm. Take a moment and sweep the fingertips across the sky, across the ceiling, as we come into reverse warrior. Lengthening through those right fingertips, allowing the left arm to just fall down the left leg. As you inhale, windmill your arms back open to center. Lengthen through the right leg, shine the palms forward. Let's come into triangle, leading with your right fingertips, sending them to the instep of your right foot as you send your gaze up towards the left thumb, reaching up towards the sky, legs long, arms long, spine long. As you inhale, windmill your arms back up to center. Diving back into the right knee, use the front, the Right thigh to rest your forearm, sweep the left arm high above the head as we come into extended side angle. Creating a beautiful line between the fingertips and the blade's edge of your left foot. Take an inhale, reaching up. And as you exhale, windmill yourself back up to warrior two. Lengthen through the right leg, pivot the right toes forward to align to the short side of your mat. And let's come into warrior two on the left, pivoting the left toes out, coming into a lunge, leading the left side. I'm gonna adjust my body better on my mat, make any adjustments that you feel like you need to. And let's meet in warrior two on the left when you're ready. Left fingertips reaching out in front, right fingertips reaching behind. We're gonna come back to that flow. So three rounds of breath as you inhale, reach up. And as you exhale, guide yourself back down. Following your own breathing reminds your body that you are capable of guiding yourself to wellness. It reminds the body that you are trustworthy. You can trust the breath and your body. You can trust your body as well. When you're ready, I'll meet you in warrior two. Take a look at the left fingertips, flip the left palm. Let's come into reverse warrior on the left side, reaching up reaching over, find length in the left, find a contraction on the right. Inhale, windmill the arms back to center, lengthen through the left leg, shine the palms forward. Let's come into triangle, leading with the left fingertips. Left fingertips guided down, right fingertips reaching up, shining the light of your heart forward. As you inhale, windmill your arms back up to center, dive back into that left knee. Let's come into extended side angle. Forearm resting on the thigh, left right arm, excuse me, sweeping high up above the head, rolling that right shoulder back. Again, light of your heart shining forward. On your next inhale, windmill your arms back to center. Lengthen through the left leg, pivot the left toes forward. Let's come back into warrior two on the right. And once you've found your warrior two, cartwheel the palms down to the mat, pivot the left toes forward, we're in a nice low runner's lunge. Guiding the left knee down, uncurl the left toes and then just send your hips towards your heels, stretching through the hamstring on the right. 
Maybe you flex your toes. Maybe you point them forward. Whatever feels good for your body. Allow your practice to be a little self-guided. Once you find yourself into a pose, constantly asking, how can I make this feel better for my body? On an inhale, shift your hips up, guiding the ball of your foot back down to the mat, and then return the right knee to meet the left. And let's do the other side. So stepping the left foot this time between the palms. Once you've found a nice wide stance, send your hips back towards the heel, stretching through the hamstring on the left side. And again, once you're here, how can I make this feel better for my body? Maybe it's walking the hands closer to you. Maybe it's walking the hands further away, drawing your seat down. Yogi's choice. On your inhale, guide your hips back to a natural stance and then return the left knee to meet the right, walking the hands in towards the body, coming to sit onto your heels, sweep the feet out in front of you, coming to sit on to your seat, toes pointed out in front of you, flexed in towards the face, sitting high on your sit bones. As you inhale, sweep the hands up high. As you exhale, hinge at the hips, reaching towards the toes. Maybe today your hands fall on your calves or on your shins, that's okay. Wherever you are in your practice is perfectly fine. Finding a nice gentle bind wherever your hands fall, keeping the back nice and straight. Use that bind on an inhale to guide your heart forward. And as you exhale, feel yourself melting over your thighs, drawing that lower back stretch up the spine, feeling it as you move into the shoulders, drawing chin to chest. One more nice big inhale, guide the heart forward leading with your heart, leading with your chin almost, and then as you exhale, melt into the fold. On your next in breath, gently walk the hands in towards the body, going a little bit slower than you naturally want to go, really drawing your awareness to how the palms feel on the legs. Guide the soles of your feet together, and I'll readjust my seat so you can see me. Scooting your seat forward, massaging the balls, the arches of your feet, and allowing the hips to relax into a space of comfort as you focus your awareness on the comfort of this mini foot massage. From here, close the pages of your book, guiding your knees together. Extend the legs out in front of you or come into your comfortable seated position with hands at heart center. And we'll end today's session. Thank you so much for allowing me to share your practice with you today. I hope that at the end of all this, you leave your mat feeling rejuvenated, feeling refreshed with a deeper understanding of yourself and your practice. And of course, I hope you walk away feeling a sense of self-love. That is going to be the conclusion of today's yoga session. I am going to pass it to the next presenter to move us through our journal prompt, I believe. Thank you so much. Namaste. Thank you, Tracy. Thank you, Tracy. My pleasure. All right. So if everyone is ready, I know we just finished with yoga. So get back to center. Like Marissa said, keep in touch with that breath, get your journals ready. And in the meantime, I'm going to pull us some cards. I have a journal prompt in mind, but I would like to see what our cards have in mind for us. So before this session, I pulled one of my self-love cards and the suggestion that we got is to create art, which makes mm. sense for stuck designs. So <laughs> put that on your to-do list for this week, make some art. And it's always rejuvenating <laughs> to just get in touch with your creative side. So I'm going to pull an affirmation card for us, for us to keep in mind as we journal, which really goes in into the journal prompt that we have. I know in the PDF that was sent out, there is a journal prompt. I'm going to kind of play onto that one. But if you want to do that one later, feel free to just print that out. Oh, this goes with creating art. So we got... I don't know if you guys can see it. We got playfulness and I'll read it for you. 
says, I'm a playful participant in life, and I always have the option to make something a fun game rather than a heavy burden. Mary Poppins put sugar in the medicine for a reason. That lady really knows how to party. So that is our, our affirmation today, be playful. I have that, so Alana is great at card decks. Um, maybe you wanna show that one in case they want yeah. to it. So this one's called Affirmators. I got all of these on Amazon. And, the and I first... actually got that card before. I've gotten the playfulness card. Oh, really? Yeah. The <laughs> other one is called the Sacred Self-Care Oracle Deck. I don't have the box next to me right now, but anywho. So with the journal prompt that's included in the PDF, we are suggesting that you take a moment just to think about your three-year vision of what your life is going to look like, what the overall goals are that you have, what you should be focusing on, like ideally what would be happening in three years if everything was perfect, if money didn't matter, if all your circumstances came into play. Ooh, okay. And now I'm pulling my from my tarot deck, and this is just regular Rider weight tarot deck. And we got, it's funny, we got the Fool card. And the Fool card is the first card of the deck. And the Fool card is pretty much like anything is possible. You can go any direction from here. Everything that you want is a possibility. Everything that you don't want is a possibility, which is why journaling and creating your vision is so important. So the journal prompt that I want to give us today, and Whitney, whenever you're ready, I'm going to set a timer for about 10 minutes for journaling, and then you can just go into full-on sound bath. So whenever you guys are done, just put down your pins. If you want to do the sound bath laying down and you want to go off camera, that's perfectly fine. If you just want to close your eyes, just take it all in after you're journaling, that would be perfect. So the journal prompt for today especially with the full card, with playfulness, with creating art. It's a lot of self-expression. And because this is self-love Sunday, a lot of times we look for external validation of what we want to hear from other people. We want praise about certain things. We want compliments. And with this journal prompt, I really want us to focus on complimenting ourselves and celebrating our wins. So really just journal out and brag on yourself hard, like your favorite body part, <laughs> your favorite hairstyle, your favorite outfit. Just visualize yourself being the biggest, baddest version of you and give yourself all the compliments that you possibly can. So that is the journal prompt and I will set the timer now. And Whitney, you can start.
everyone. Our 10 minutes is up. So just wrap up your last words, get comfy, and enjoy the rest of the sound bath.
Thank you, Whitney. <laughs> our body, our words, that are beyond powerful. So wonderful to be shared in this group experience. Coming back to the body, coming back to the heart, center, always. integrate these beautiful intentions, these beautiful words, and fully embody them, and create our vision into reality with the support of all these Thank you, Whitney, for that beautiful sound bath. Um, we're coming to a close of this event. So I'm just going to close with a quick gratitude meditation. Um, you know, we've done a few different practices this, this morning, this evening, this afternoon. And I just want to honor and give gratitude for, for everyone who showed up this morning and for everyone who is here. So Whenever you're ready, let's take a deep inhale into the nose. A big exhale out through the mouth, just relaxing our shoulders, relaxing our physical body, relaxing our energy body. Closing your eyes if they're not closed or at a low gaze. And just taking some gratitude breaths by breathing into the nose. And exhaling out again, come to a deeper sense of relaxation if you haven't already. And I just want you to take these next few moments to reflect. Reflect on anything that came up for you maybe during the first meditation, during that beautiful yoga Tracy took us through, maybe when we were journaling, something came up. Using your breath, again, just reflect on something that came up, maybe one or two things that came to you during that healing sound bath. Just reflect on anything that serves your highest good that you wanna take with you, that you wanna take from this event, this session, into your week, into your days to come. Breathing into the nose and exhaling out, coming to a deep sense of gratitude for yourself, for love, for presence, for support from our ancestors, our support from the earth, our support from our breath and our bodies. I want you to think of everything as a tool, a tool for a deeper sense of purpose, a deeper sense of love. We give thanks. And when you're ready, we take a deep inhale into the nose. A big exhale out through the mouth. 
allow glitter to sparkle down on your energy body, on your physical body, beautiful sparkles of glitter, sweetness. And we close, thank you everyone. I'm gonna pass it on to Brett for any last words of how to find, to learn more about Stuck Designs and their work. I love these beautiful self-love Sundays that we've been doing. Um, so I'm just gonna pass it on to Brett. Yeah, thank you everyone. You guys always blow my mind every time, even though we've only had two of these, but still. Um, so yeah, this is a series we decided to do, um, you know, due to the times we're in, a lot of people are stressed. A lot of times we forget that, um, you know, our bodies need to move um, in the ways that, you know, yoga um, creates for us. So um, this is just a safe place to reconnect with yourself, realign with yourself um, in the midst of whatever you know craziest crazy stuff might be going on out there and in the world it's important that we you know have um, alignment wholeness and are centered within because um, you know we can solve any problem and anything um, from within us and it's important to reconnect to that truth and to source so um, just thank you guys so much um, Everyone that was a host is tagged like on our Instagram, they're on the, the post, they're in the PDF. And then we'll also be sending a follow-up email. Um, this is good, this is a recording. So you'll have this recorded resource um, as well as everyone's contacts via email um, after. So thanks again. I hope you all have amazing, beautiful, productive Sunday, sending you all so much love and light. And yeah, have an amazing day. Bye. Thank you. Bye, everyone.